Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me these two letters and want to do this. They want a white outline around the whole, both the letters equally, and want it in red and white. They're going to print on a blue shirt. I used yellow just to let's make it blue, see what it looks like. Wow, looks better. Anyway, this is one of the easiest things you'll ever do. I just typed out the two letters. They wanted an aerial. I'm going to go to object. I'm going to break the two letters apart. I'm going to select them both. I'm going to go to object. I'm going to convert them to curves. I'm going to select them both. I'm going to go up and I'm going to left click, no fill, and I'm going to right click a black outline. And then just take your G and place it wherever you think it looks the best. Take both the items and weld it. So that part's already done. While it's still selected, go to Effects, Contour. We're going to contour to the outside. I, I pick 0.3 in red, just so you can see the difference when you do this. And then let's go ahead and bring in this black or the box. Well, let's wait. See, there's what, that's why I use the box. Now we're going to take our Smart Fill tool, and with Set on White, we're going to do that. And don't forget to do the inside. So that did all the white. Now we need to move the Smart Fill tool and get a red. Now if they're gonna print this, they probably wanna use something other than RGB. But just click on that and it's gonna fill everything in. Now, don't forget if you want it to look like that is to right click, no outline. Now let's take the box and that's what you get. That's a pretty cool uh, way to do things and logos and um, you can do it with almost any letter. You know, some letters don't really, through the years I've found, you know, like an A versus a Z versus a V, you know, how they're going to fit together, but you can make them work. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.